Several historical periods have successfully come across the Kingdom of Bahrain that are rooted deep in history from 3000 BC through 3000 CE. In ancient history, Bahrain was known as Dilmun, Tylos, and Awal. And in the eras of the Middle Ages and modern history, it became to be known as Awal and Bahrain. In the year 629, corresponding to the 8th Hejri year, a letter from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, reached Bahrain, in which he invited its people to join the religion of Islam, to which the people of Bahrain were honored to carry the message of Islam to the other bank of the Arabian Gulf. Bahrain remained part of the caliphates from the Rashidun throughout the Umayyad and Abbasid eras. When Bahrain became part of the Arab Muslim entity that was established by Al Khalifa. In 1783, Sheikh Ahmad bin Muhammad bin Khalifa al Khalifa was successful in driving away the forces of the then chief of Bahrain, Nasser al Matkur, as they attacked Zibara. Consequently, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed took advantage of this victory to emancipate Bahrain and work to ensure its protection. Thus, Bahrain had forces on the ground as well as a navy fleet with about 7,000 fighters and 150 ships. Bahrain Defense Force BDF was formed in early 1968 by an Amari decree issued by the late Sheikh Aisa bin Salman al Khalifa, appointing His Majesty King Hamad bin Aisa al Khalifa, who was the Crown Prince at the time, as BDF Commander in Chief, following his graduation from Mons Officer Cadet School. At the beginning of the 21st century, His Majesty launched his reform project, which had succeeded in establishing a comprehensive revival of the kingdom. Thanks to good collective efforts and the tireless work of His Majesty the King, as well as the backing of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad, and the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, a unified, homogeneous and balanced force was formed to defend the country and ensures its safety, independence, and sovereignty from any outside threat. Bahrain Defense Force was also supported by the public security forces and the National Guard to maintain order and the rule of law and contribute to developing and protecting the civil structure of the country. Bahrain Defense Force supported the Kingdom's various security services in cases of crisis, emergency, or natural disasters. It also contributed along with the armed forces of the GCC states, in accordance with the framework of the Joint Defense Agreement. Bahrain Defense Force cooperated with the Arab countries within the framework of the Joint Arab Defense Agreement for the Arab League. Bahrain Defense Force coordinated with the allied countries within the framework of the bilateral and international cooperation agreements for the protection of territorial borders, international security and humanitarian operations, and counter-terrorism efforts under the umbrella of the United Nations. <laughs>